And this week, U.S. Senator Pat Toomey said on Fox 43 Morning News that he'd be in favor of Pennsylvania adopting Georgia's new voting laws. The laws have been deemed by some as controversial. In the election, experts say expands the time for people to vote while making it difficult for those in urban areas. Lawmakers in Harrisburg have been busy since last November proposing their own major changes to state election law. Fox 43's Matt Mazel breaks down some of the biggest ones in this week's Fox 43 Capitol Beat. In the months since Joe Biden's presidential election win, Pennsylvania has been one of the most active states in the country when it comes to voting proposals. A Fox 43 legislative review shows 26 bills have been introduced in the last three months that would change Pennsylvania's election code. These range from allowing for early in-person voting to extending deadlines to creating voter ID laws. It's a solution in search of a problem. I mean, most of the things they're talking about have absolutely, you know, there's almost no, if, if at all, sort of evidence of any sort of widespread problems. ACLU have. Legislative Director Liz Randall says she has a particularly close watch on a pair of bills which would eliminate mail-in voting altogether. I'm convinced that we need to now look at hitting the reset button on how uh, Act 77 has been implemented. Senator Joe Pittman was one of the 173 Republicans statewide who voted in favor of no excuse absentee voting in 2019. A global pandemic and a lost presidential election later, and a number of GOP lawmakers want a do-over. And so we've had a series of things that led to what I believe is a lack of confidence in how the process unfolded. Republicans say Governor Wolf and the Supreme Court extending the ballot return deadline was against election law, as were mixed match signatures and ballot drop boxes. Democrats argue the GOP legislature didn't pass any laws that said they couldn't. Can a voter get some compromise? Even though it may uh, sort of be an olive branch to the Republicans uh, in an effort to dial things back, Democrat Mike Carroll believes his bill gives a little bit of everything to everyone. For Republicans, it pushes back the voter registration deadline and stops ballot returns at 8 p.m. on Election Day while expanding pre-canvassing and Dropbox options for Dems. It also eliminates those pesky secrecy envelopes. Because of the inability to reach a compromise in Harrisburg, nothing happened, and the counties were forced to be counting ballots you know, two or three days after the election. This, uh, this bill is an effort to try and, and, uh, and prevent inaction and I fear in action. And of course, like most legislation, at least for another year and a half, Democrats hold the ace. Governor Tom Wolf has already said he would likely veto bills which limit voting access. With your Fox 43 Capital Beat, I'm Matt Mazel.